Earlier this week, there was a channel community post where I announced we needed to talk about not only Satisfactory, but sci-fi building games in general. This includes automation and logic-based sandbox games in particular. Specifically, I'd like to talk about the problem with long-term playability seemingly up in the air when it comes to these games, even though many of these said game's mechanics and workflows encourage it. This includes how it has impacted not only the channel, but also my personal journey when it comes to base building games, what is not working for our purposes, and how you can help to get even better content and help from the channel. I hope that this video reaches people who are passionate about the channel's core values, to include those who have been silently lurking and following the channel since the beginning. Let's begin. I only ask that you stick around for the entire video so that you can get the whole picture. What I want you to think about first is that I do a lot of experimentation with base building games. Due to my background as a professional educator, curriculum expert, and business owner, what I mean by experimentation is that a lot of the things I do on the channel follow similar strategies and skills that I have learned in my career. This is not to brag or boast, but my professional experience is just as applicable in my opinion as my gaming experience. Really, I employ all of my experiences when I'm designing content for you, not me. So then, for better or worse, let's talk about the problems with the satisfactory saves that I have discovered. Then we can zoop up to a bird's eye view and how you can help. The satisfactory save files for both series have buckled under their own weight. If you have watched the earlier videos on the channel, you know that there are criteria for what games the channel recommends. I'm not going to summarize and over-explain, no. This will make sense if you stay with me, though, because it really is about you. Back to Satisfactory. The modular series for base building in Satisfactory was almost complete. We were transitioning by doing a mega base series as opposed to the mega modular organic series so that you could see how I approach that style. And it should be said, if not already known, that these base building tips are generally applicable to much more than just satisfactory. If you are here today as a dedicated base building creative type and play a lot of automation games as well, you understand that there is a certain amount of skill transfer between titles. Anyhow, seeing as yet again I have managed to get max object crashes every few minutes and other weird behavior, rolled back the save, all of the deep troubleshooting steps, I just kept thinking of how this was not a sustainable path for the channel and for you. I had a lot of plans for the Satisfactory series and base builds in general. I had wanted to share the builds and world saves, do community servers for a few of the best, and share our stories that way. Trying to be transparent here, there are three obstacles I think are worth mentioning. The first, being that the types of builds I do go above and beyond and take a lot of time, I'm talking hundreds of hours, when a save file buckles, even with the best efforts beforehand, testing, and using the dreaded calculator, I lose that many hours in a week. To include the script, filming, it trickles on. The second obstacle is that even by forcing myself through the bugs to continue to make it happen for you, the final build will not be in a place to be able to share it with the community and ultimately tell our stories through gaming the way that I had envisioned. If I can barely run it on my own rig, how will it be accessible to the broader audience? See the about section of the channel if you are unsure of what the channel is dedicated to. The third obstacle is a promise that I made and that I would do anyway, even if I had not explicitly said it in previous videos. The promise is my best value that I can give. This means less dead air and mindless exploration, more tips and workflow strategies. Lots of other creators already do streams, let's plays, and so on. I would love to entertain you, of course, but I'm here primarily to educate and encourage first. Sure, I could just upload like everyone else and be on the camera all the time, but does that really give the audience the value I know I have to share? If I decide to play V Rising, for example, because of its potential and simply because I liked it, then split my tips across three hour streams as a result, would that be authentic in a way that you can connect to? I'm not so sure. What kind of value does that really bring you for your own pursuits? The definition of value and valuing the time of the audience deserves a video in and of itself and differs from person to person. So we have our three obstacles, all of which are focused on producing the best possible quality. Now what to do with them or what to do about it. It is not my intent to say that Satisfactory is a bad game, quite the contrary. It was and has been the main building game that I use for tutorials and my own creations. The flavor of the year for me, Satisfactory can put up with a lot of abuse, but due to my experiences since last fall and recently with Satisfactory, it really saddens me to tell you that I have still yet to find a building game that allows me to build the way that I envision. 
at least while making it stable enough and shareable with the community. I really thought it could be satisfactory, and maybe it will be. It is important to remember these games are in early access. My issues may be an outlier, although the max object errors seem to indicate otherwise. And please know that I test them all regularly, or games like this. They literally compete for my time to make content that is intended to improve your time. Further, a lot of my world saves from these games have been deleted to make room for filming for the channel as the channel has grown. However, I do still have a few more saves that break down when there are simply too many structures or calculations going on on the save file. Valheim, Ark Survival Evolved, RimWorld, Imperion Galactic Survival, Seven Days to Die, just to name a few saves that I still have that continue to buckle once the save starts to take shape and I start to get somewhere. To solve the issues that have arisen, I would first like to apologize to those of you who were expecting a satisfactory tutorial this week, and last week, if you were. This video is not a rant, nor do I wish to write a breakup letter to the satisfactory community. I did say during the intro that specifically, I'd like to talk about the problem with long-term playability being up in the air with these kinds of games, even though many of these said games, mechanics, and workflows encourage it. Let's talk about that now, and how you can help. I really recommend that you go ahead and finish getting the whole picture here if you have gotten this far. We are aiming for informed decision makers if possible, so thanks for sticking with me through this. Because here is where I need your help the most. What games do you think fit the channel criteria, besides Satisfactory or games I have mentioned up to this point? Some of the videos that are coming up may be a bit different, so I'd like for you to tell me what you think. Please leave a comment down low, and then come back so we can talk about what my current thoughts are. Now you have the whole story, and now we can talk about solutions without me guiding your suggestions potentially. I'd like your ideas, based on the situation, not spin-offs of mine. I hope that I have painted a clear picture of the thought and consideration I have when it comes to these sort of things, and with my best efforts and years of building experience. Yet again, I seem to be, and have always been, on the hunt for the best game that I can build my cities, ships, bases, temples, towers, and so on, to tell my stories in and through. I have always been asked about my building methods, even just by neighbors on servers and games that I have played. In fact, the channel often refers to helping you get the most yield or production for the time that you put in. Maybe if you really like this video, I'll show you how many hours I have in Ark Survival Evolved sometime, not including my Xbox account. What I have learned along the way to today, in both my gaming experiences and career pursuits, is that people like actionable steps that are efficient when it comes to growing their skills. I have helped so many gamers and friends build awesome things, to include businesses, gaming achievements, and entire college departments. So it kind of makes sense when I say I like to serve communities that have been a big part of my life. And so how am I solving or applying these thoughts to the satisfactory situation, which always seems to break down once the save file gets to be around 10 megabytes or so? The answer is not as simple as pivoting to a similar game, like Factorio, Planet Crafter, No Man's Sky, there are tons of examples. We would just run into the same problem again. I can't exactly share builds that don't have room for you to live in and expand by the time I am done with them, even if I do push through the bugs. Here is how I'm going to do it. I'm going to take the time back for the channel. The time I would have been building during business meetings on another screen, I can redirect that time back to you. Logically, the next step in my journey is to continue to search for my favorite builder that meets the channel's criteria and can handle the creations that I would like to make. In the meantime, I believe that I can still help with educational content focused on helping people tell their stories with gaming. I also often say world building too, but there are other ways to tell your stories through gaming. Set design is not necessarily limited to just base building. I am still dedicated to sharing tips, tutorials, and workflows supported by sci-fi games, occasional fantasy titles sometimes, that have a ton of build something you own potential and long-term playability. In the near future, I am planning on spinning up Star Citizen to see how I can contribute. I also have been identifying other games to cover on the channel that are sci-fi and fantasy oriented. Some of them I may not necessarily do tutorials on. It may look something like best automation games on the go or best sci-fi base builders, my typical video essays, and more. Also, there is a lot that goes on in the background that I have not discussed much yet. If you made it this deep into the video, I want to look
A final reminder to let you know that you may see some experimentation on the channel as we continue to grow. I really believe though, that even with the obstacles that we discussed with base building games today, that there is a lot that I can still offer to the base building, sci-fi, space, and crafting automation genres. How you react to challenges or obstacles is really what matters. It is sad to lose hundreds of hours on a project that was well planned and well tested. I look at it like this, how can this be the best thing that has happened to not just me, but the channel? That is the real question. Who you surround yourself with matters too. Part of this channel is making a home of members you want to surround yourself with. People with a growth mindset, people who see possibilities, who eat monumental challenges one bite at a time. Challenges are best viewed as opportunities to grow and make an impact. I feel like there is power and value to this mindset. Solving problems as opportunities for profit is, at the core, what entrepreneurship is all about. Deep, yeah, corny, possibly, but it is true and applicable to the channel. The most valuable thing that I can do is facilitate a place for this type of growth. A place where you can surround yourself with people that give you courage. It just rubs off whenever you are together. To pursue your skills in base building, telling stories through gaming, you know the rest. If you understand and support the transparency and consistent focus on the channel's mission to bring you the best results and fun for the time that you put in, do me a favor and boop the like button so that this video can spread to more people. We are well on the way to 2,000 subscribers to this awesome community, but make sure to give a shout out if you can. I invite intellectual discussion, so see you in the comments. Stay fresh, play how you want, how you can, make something awesome, and stay you.